This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hey. On the show today, we try and dissuade Nathan from being obsessed with Timu. It didn't working. start well. It's not working. <laughs> oh, well, I just think there's a lot of user error. People aren't reading the instructions properly and people aren't reading the measurements properly. That's on them. I need Timu to hurt me seriously and, and not be my fault <laughs> yeah, yeah. for me to be walking away from this situation. That's true. Street parking was a big oh, oh, topic dude. of conversation so this morning. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And Caitlin Bassett joined us as well to talk about sport and other things. And actually, we might hear from some people's signature dishes as well. Okay. I know. The one we chose today was unexpected. Controversial. This is Nathan, Nat and Sean. It's four past six, Nathan Nat and Sean. Happy Tuesday, the oh. second day back after holidays. It's just so much better than the first day back, isn't it? I was telling our producer, Amy, when we were in the uh, lift on the way up here, that I woke up Crying this morning and I was thinking, arms. is it Thursday or oh, Friday? Sure. Anyway, so then I was uh, got the joking. bathroom, started brushing my fangs, and it came to me that it was Tuesday. We've <laughs> only just got back from holidays. I woke up this morning and uh, I woke up before my alarm went off and then for some reason started thinking, when's my alarm going off? And then I got up five minutes before my alarm and that... that you robbed yourself five just minutes. The, no. Just the... Just the crime. I'm yeah. sorry for your loss. Yeah, my wife was coughing for about an hour before oh, my alarm. I'm sorry so for your loss. How time. do you hear her when she's in the yard? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that, Sean. You've got to get better sure soundproofing. I wasn't sure if it was Rex or Megan. Sorry, anyway. I check. Is she okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then on the way here, oh. I was behind a guy. So, you know, the the the, stro- uh, the speed limit was 60, and I was mm. behind a guy doing 45, and I couldn't get past what him. What are you doing at that hour of the morning? There is no Why are you other cars around. He's doing 45, and also, but the music is blaring in his car. Yeah. That, I, I partnered that with Fast Car. Yeah, you, yeah you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have your music going unless you're doing bog laps down Hannon Street in Cape yeah, yeah, of course. And want to be seen. No, I agree with that. I don't think you should have your music blaring if you're going 45. I agree. Oh. Can I add another thing to, you mm. know, when people, you're yeah. stuck behind people and they're going slow in a car? This happens to me all the time, but when you're on your feet and you're at a supermarket or you're somewhere yep. and people are going slow yes. in front of you and you can't and they get yeah. the you aisle. Aisle. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to dance around yeah. them. Especially mm. families that walk all side mm. by side. Mm. Mm. It's like, Ooh. come on, mate. Yeah. It's like the, you know, it's, it's like the uh, the start of a TV show, you know, when the whole cast walks yes. up to the camera together. So if you're a single family, file. please walk single file. Single file, families. Are you allowed Keep to left. push them over? I don't oh, know. Sean, um, I think not. officially no. <laughs> Particularly the old ducks, you, you know, they, they're like wobbling because their hips are gone, the oldies, their hips are gone, so they're taking up all that the space. That would be the easiest to knock to the ground, but you shouldn't. <laughs> We're Sorry. here to tell you. No, Sean. You shouldn't. No. Okay. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey, Tay, that jumper looks so comfortable. It's so nice and fluffy. <laughs> it's so cosy. Did you just see what happened? I saw what happened. <laughs> Did you see so what happened, everyone? Here's the difference between <laughs> T and the woman who replaced Ellie. Uh, because when you told Ellie that her jumper was comfortable, she was highly she was offended. Highly offended. Really? Highly yeah, offended. No, I said, no, but it just looks comfortable. No, it's not. You're saying that it's not it's good to wear to work. And right. I said, no, I'm saying Comfort it looks comfortable. Yeah. Comfort no, she, is key, I that looks so comfortable. That Nathan was saying it was ugly. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's either... Well, not. even if you think it's ugly, oh, I, I'm comfortable. You don't care because so. you're comfortable. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wow, it's so easy to get along with, isn't she? Yeah, well, we are getting to know you. Do you have a lot of comfortable jumpers? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have a collection Great. starting for winter. It is yeah. comfortable jumper season. It so, is, yeah, yes. they're really coming to their Sean, own. Sean, you're still um, wearing the shorts at the moment. I am... I feel like I was going to falter this morning. Do you feel like? You, do, you, do you feel like? Are you winning the competition that you're an imaginary, imaginarily in? Well, I'm in it with Harry. It's not a competition, but we're staying united. Oh my oh, God. Harry, you need some Mike Agra. Today yeah. was um, today was a warm one with the uh, cloud cover and yeah, rain that's around. True. Yeah, mm. so it's fine, Sean. I don't know. There's going to be some mornings and uh, it's going to be August and September where it's going to get me because there's no. I know cloud what? I don't want. I don't want you to just wear shorts. If you're going to do this challenge, when it gets colder, I want the shorts to be higher. <laughs> And no jumpers either. I want to get high at You're going to have to look at this body. (laughs) It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Last quarter. Sensational play. Be there to cheer on the home team from the Bankwest Best Seats in the House. So we've got two premium Bankwest best seats to see the Eagles take on the Brisbane Lions this Sunday. Don't worry. It's premium seating and there's food and drinks included. It's going to be amazing. You'll <laughs> love every bit of it, actually. Uh, Crystal's going to be first cap of the rank this morning, Nate. Hi, Crystal. 
Hello. Hi, Crystal. Mm. Got your wits about you this morning? Mm. We're awake? Um, um, only half awake, so oh. we shall see. Okay, well, there's early. the half of you that is awake know how to win the last quarter? <laughs> yes. How do you win the last I'm quarter? Like the yeah. How do you... Uh, you win all the general knowledge questions up to <laughs> the last one. Mm. Well, let's, really. let's check. Incorrect. Let's check. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. Hi. Hi, Nicola. We want to know, do you know how to win the last quarter? Yeah, you win the last quarter. There you go. There, Crystal. That's how it's said, Crystal. I love okay. Crystal. <laughs> yes, um, I yes. like your, motto, your your slogan better, though. You win all of the general trivia knowledge questions. <laughs> <laughs> Get on a billboard. It tongue. is. Mm, uh, just do okay. it. We're in the first quarter. Um, it is Crystal v. Nicola. We're going to ask you a question. Buzz in with your name if you know the answer. You get it right, you're through to the second quarter. Get it wrong. We bid you farewell. Let's test your buzzers. Crystal? Crystal. Nicola? Nicola. They're working, guys. All right. Let's go into the first quarter. In the hit ABBA song, how old is the dancing queen? Crystal. Crystal. Nicola. Crystal? 17. Yes, she's 17. Oh. She's 17. Crystal's through the yeah. second quarter. Goodbye, Nicola. Uh, Crystal, well in the done. second quarter, you're going to be taking on Candy from Queen's Rock. Hi, Candy. Hello. Hey, Candy. Hi, Candy. Candy. Do you know how to win the last quarter, Candy? You win the last quarter. Boom. You bet. Fantastic. All right, she's Candy, test your buzzer, please, Candy. Candy. It's working, guys. All right, second quarter. Question for the last quarter. Name an AFL team that's in the top four at the minute. Crystal. Dockers. Fremantle. <laughs> She's yes. right, you know. Clear. Clear on the ladder. Well done, Sydney Crystal. Sydney Carlton and Essendon. Correct the Goodbye, Mundu. Candy. Uh, it's all the girls this morning. Crystal, in the third quarter, we are taking on Alicia from Jandicott. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. Mm, how do you win the last quarter, Alicia? Um, I think you have to win the last quarter. You think? <laughs> I think you're right. Alicia, really Alicia. Good. I think you're right. Hey, we, we are looking for someone to play off in the last quarter. So 13, 24, 10. Keep trying. You can get oh, on board. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Uh, so we are in the third quarter. Alicia, test your buzzer. Alicia? Alicia. It's working. All right. Third quarter question. Crystal V. Alicia. What is the common informal abbreviation of the word handkerchief? Crystal. Alicia. Crystal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Crystal's right. <laughs> Crystal! Crystal! You told us you're only half awake, and here you are it's in the, the last it's, quarter. It's the top half. I'm competitive. Yes, well done. Okay, Crystal, in the last quarter, you're taking on Mel from North Beach. Good morning, Mel. Morning. Hi, Mel. Great Is it an early morning in. thing for the women this morning? Is it Tuesdays the, the time that the women Yesterday don't get to we, sleep in? We played early and all it was almost all guys. Yeah. 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 How about that? Well, um, <laughs> we want to know, Mel, do you know how to win the last quarter? You win the last quarter. Uh, yes, uh, Mel. Um, do you want to test your buzzer, Mel? Mel. Yeah, it's working. And, of course, this is the last quarter. Crystal, let's get a last buzzer test off you as well. Crystal? Crystal. Yeah. Mm. Crystal's buzz has been firing this morning. Lightning fast. Okay. Last quarter. Crystal Here we B. Go. Mel. Here is the question. What is the name of the suspension pedestrian bridge that takes you to Optus Stadium? Crystal. Crystal for the win. Mata Garap Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you are bang on. Matcha nah. Garra Bridge. Good, yeah. <laughs> Very nicely enunciated. <laughs> Crystal has gone from go to woe. You're That's taking amazing. it out. That happens oh very rarely, goodness. Crystal. Well done. Two premium Bankwest best seats to the Eagles. Take on a Brisbane yeah. this Sunday. Premium seating, food and drinks included. Crystal? Thank you so much. Thanks, week so far, so I feel oh, like crying. Oh, really? So, uh, also, it's only Tuesday, so that's sucks. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's <laughs> We've had the worst week, too. We've had to come back to work. <laughs> we, we really feel you, Crystal. Well done. You, uh, you deserve you, you it, earned mate. That. that was an excellent effort. Um, nicely paid. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey, we've got um, we've got Pay Your Bills coming up a little bit later. Oh, yes. um, did you get any good ones yesterday? Uh, I, I don't... It wasn't yesterday, but on Friday I had a fine... So somebody oh. had, uh, oh, I think it was like two hundred and seventy dollars in parking fines, was three it different S. fines. Was <laughs> <laughs> Might be a lot higher than that. So I mean, you can use the word bill, but I've been saying stretch it, you know, so that yeah. you could do like a holiday one or a yeah. date night stuff like that, or fine. Yeah, we had an engagement ring yeah. um, payment yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Just on the just on the fines, right, and in particular the parking fines. So when we're at the at Fremantle, there's 
public parking around um, the Oval, and I used to park there just thinking I'd be right. And mm. they used to give me tickets all the time. My idea was getting out of the tickets was just to drive off and flick the windscreen right. Oh yeah, off. no, that worked. Oh, yeah, can, very I, effective. can I tell you something that this is what happened over the holidays, right? So I, um, as we know, I scraped my car from Melbourne Mansky, yeah. right down the side when I was um, pulling out of the car park. You did. Oh, yeah, it was ages ago. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. anyway, I've been waiting to get it fixed, and then finally I took it into um, uh, to bloody uh, Joel. Uh, Joel in um, Melville, and uh, they, <laughs> they they were giving it back to me. So, But the thing is, just beforehand, I took it in to go and get cleaned, you know, just get the outside yeah. cleaned, and I took it to one of those car um, mm. washing places, and then they had said online to um, put in your rego details and all that sort of stuff. So I put in the rego details, and when I got there, the guy was looking at me a little bit funny and reading the form and then looking back at me. Anyway, so then later on, I go back two hours later to go pick up the car and then he goes yeah your car's ready he goes over there and then I've walked over there and I've looked at this car and I've looked at the license plate number I'm going that's not my license plate number anyway I have for the last year, whenever I've been parking anywhere, you know when you put your license plate mm, number yeah. in those mm. machines? I've been Wrong putting one. In my license plate number from a year ago, <laughs> which is another license plate number. And and you, got a, you never got a ticket? I never got a ticket. I've never got a ticket. I've never got a ticket. So I've been putting in the wrong license plate number for a year. <laughs> That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? I've mm. never got a ticket. That, that is amazing. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> no one has that. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Okay, I'm going to talk about something that's going to get people very, very angry, and that is parking in their streets. <laughs> this is the Morris thing. Oh, my dad! My dad will be up and about yeah, he'd that. Be huge. Well, any, be any, huge any about parking this. related any parking issue. issue. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're going to head over to Leichhardt in Sydney's inner west, yep. and there is the West um, Tigers. Uh, a post on Facebook that got people very angry in the area because they all know about this one house, and this house is uh, putting witches' hats out the front of their house to stop people from parking at the front now, of their job. Here's the, in the city, they wouldn't have off-street parking there, would they? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll get your permits and yes. stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. but, but everyone has to park on the streets. Everyone yeah. has to share them. But this person's permanently got these things. They said that they have been uh, monitoring it for a while, as everyone in the community has, uh, waiting to see if there's been renovations. There's been no renovations there. This isn't because trucks are parking there or whatever. It's just this person's decided that you cannot park in the front the of my house. The power of a witch's hat to be... The power of a witch's hat. The respect that people have for a witch's yes. hat to not move it is yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. I don't fear a witch's hat myself. Yeah. I was well, fucking you don't think trend. any rules apply to you, so... No, not really. Oh, some people have said just move the witch's hats, but as we yes. know, you can't touch a mm. witch's hat mm. because it's there for a reason. Mm. Well, um, you don't want to get the wrath of the yeah. witch, obviously. Oh, my God. <laughs> some of these articles, you look at the comments, and the comments on this were just... It was pages long. Um, this person, one of my neighbours, does not like anyone parking in the front of her house, so she has put a trailer there with clamps on the wheel so it can't be moved. This fool has a driveway and a garage. <laughs> Entitled much. Oh, that's taking the piss. Um, mm. This one here, my neighbours either side of me and across the road have nine cars between them. I can't get my car out of my own drive- driveway most of the time. Uh, this person here, this is hilarious. Our neighbours did this in the UK when we phoned the police to see if it was le- illegal. We were told it wasn't legal, but they were more concerned about where they got the cones from, <laughs> especially when they deemed they were a local council property that went oh, so stolen. That means- <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't get done for the car. They got on for the flog and Hats. <laughs> but this is a re- but then this is the comment which is very interesting. The comments saying the people placing the cones are entitled are actually the entitled ones. Twenty years ago, there was an unspoken rule not to park in front of someone else's house all day. It was kind and courteous not to. I would think it would be. I so mean, if, back in the day, mm. I'm sure that was. There was more room and all mm. that sort of stuff. And Less this is cars, why yeah. I'm guessing a lot of the letters come from angry old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> who, who had it good, yeah. too good for too long. Yeah. Um, we'd like to welcome to the show Zara. Hi, Zara. Hi, Zara. Hello, guys. How are you going? Zara. So um, you caused a street some uh, anger from parking. It wasn't just me, my year group. Yes, <laughs> so at your school? At my high school. What school? Um, one in the north. <laughs> Oh, oh, it doesn't want to know that. One in the north. It doesn't matter. I don't think it's important. Oh. But um, oh. Oh. what have you got to hide? Okay. Wow. You are. You're hiding something. No, okay, Keep going. No. Um, so I went to a... We were getting renos done and they were building a new gym. And... Um, the student car park happened to be right yeah. next to where the gym was, so they gave that car park to all the tradies because there were oh, lots okay. of trades coming in and out, which made sense, but then the Year 12s didn't have anywhere to park. Of course. Um, and I think my year group had maybe about 200 or 250 kids, Jeez. maybe 300 kids. Like okay. It's a big school. Yeah. It's a big public school. So, um, we somewhere, in the somewhere in the north. <laughs> What's the court again? <laughs> I, I, it's yeah, like I, Game of Thrones. <laughs> in the north. <laughs> she she went really to school on the wall, Sean. It's really not that deep. I went to Crane. But... <laughs> 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 what do you want to 
Why are you ashamed of Green High School? Oh, I'm not ashamed. I just didn't know. Those okay. shops in Corinna are great. Yeah, they are. Anyway, yeah, keep going. <laughs> bakery. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, so we couldn't park in the car park, so we had to park around the school, but we're, then we all got fined yeah. by the council. So we had to park on the surrounding streets, and the residents didn't like that. So, so letters? Oh, letters. I used to get, like, little notes in our cars, but there's nothing you could do about it, and the council didn't fine you for parking. No, so you're allowed to, and there were no restrictions yeah. in those streets. It yeah. was just people being like, do not park in front of my house. You're like, you're, you're blocking it, but... We'd be there from, like, yes. if I got to school early, it would be maybe 8 o'clock, and yeah. then I'd be gone by 3.30. So if someone's working in the day, yes. that's prime time but to the, be the, the, the old lady's writing the notes aren't working. I know, but my <laughs> old sitting at the window true, angry looking at your car, <laughs> trying to stare <laughs> a laser into but it. But how, how is it impacting them? Because I don't know. it's their home, their car's there already. We never so, booked a driveway. Yeah, that's like, right. Well, yeah. There, there, are two, there will be two schools of thought here. There will be the people that say you, it is free and it, it's yeah. a free party, you can park in front of someone else's house, but there's other people who say, no, yeah. it's actually rude for you mm. to park in front of someone else's house. Mike, I, yeah, my street yeah. cops it. So my, my yeah. street, uh, because I'm relatively close to Canning Highway and there's a swim school around the corner, Some for some reason, doesn't happen during the week, but on Saturdays, there seems to be a lot of people go to the swim school on Saturdays. And there, and whilst that does have a car park out the front of it, it obviously gets full. And they so they then fill up our... And because people pull up um, they're driving up on my side of the road. They they will park right up in front of my house yeah. rather than you go on the other side of the road. You could be like yeah, it's closer down, closer closer down, closer closer down the street. You just don't want to turn around. But yeah, so it fills up, and so I like I take the dog to the dog park. I come back, the street's full, and I've got a like I'm getting out three houses up. And which is fun. Do you normally, get your notepad and your, your, your Normally it wouldn't bother me, but the dog just sort of wanders <laughs> around yeah. and like he's going to run across the road and everything because I'm used to just getting him out right there and straight in the house. You need to get your own cones. No, I'm not That going is the key. Yeah. I'm not going to. I'm yeah. not that person. Um, we would like to know this is going to get people upset because it's issues that everyone has dealt with. Parking mm-hmm. in your street. Mm. On your verge, get, in your driveway. Yeah, out the front of your house. Ah. You can't park in someone's driveway. That's a given. We get yeah. that. Yeah. I, yeah. But, but, is, but can you? are you allowed to park at the front of someone's house. Yeah. Okay. Or on their verge, yeah. yeah. Hello, Natasha. Hello. Hi, Natasha. All right, what's the parking situation? You do not park in anyone's house, street, driveway, anywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> no. So I live in, like, one of those housing complex. So, like, the garage is at the back of the house, not the front. Yes. yes. Yep. So at the front of the house, it's, like, the street, and then they have, like, maybe three little parking bays so everyone has to park either in your back in the garage yes. mm-hmm. or in the back of it like in front of your garage yes okay so we had like some nuisance neighbors mm-hmm. and they always had parties and friends over yep. so they would park in front of my garage like oh on, oh so, so blocking your garage street. No. yeah so it's a two-way street so they'd park on like the other side so there's like maybe a meter from my garage but I have a big car, so I physically cannot get out. I see. So as you're reversing out or whatever, because they're parked on the other side of the street, it was blocking, still blocking you. They weren't, they weren't exactly. technically blocking you, but they were parked yeah. in a way that so made it difficult. So you have to do difficult. a 100-point turn yeah. to be able to get your car out. Is that right? You can't even do a 100-point turn. There's physically no way of getting out. I have to go every time to find whose car it is. And <laughs> oh, tell them to move. you really? You're the hassle. crazy car yeah. lady that starts <laughs> screaming at people. <laughs> I'm going to be in my car. <laughs> but that's not your fault that they turned no. you into that villain. Oh, yeah. That's tough. I have security cameras as well. So if I see someone parking there mm. before they turn their cap. Can you run out there? Into my camera. No, I yell out on my camera and my phone. Oh. I'm like, move your car. Oh, 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 oh. So they just got hear a, a voice, a disembodied voice <laughs> screaming at them about That's their party. Yeah. Oh, Tash. You've Tash. been pushed to the brink on this. I see hey, what's Tash, happened. Tash, are you monitoring it? Just unconsciously monitoring it all the time? Or do you always have one eye on the, on, on the camera? It, my, my, my phone pings every time it feels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mess with Tash. No way. I'm not getting away with that one. Thanks, Tash. Gabby's in Cottesloe. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, Gabby. Gabby, talk to us about street parking. Okay, so I live fairly close to Cot Beach. Mm -hmm. So you actually have to contact your council when you move in or move wherever and say, hey, I live at this address and I need parking to park in front of my own house. Anywhere on the street, you need to show your parking parking permit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I have a neighbour who <laughs> consistently parks in front of my house and has a huge trailer, like a trade trailer. Yes. And very often he covers my driveway. So oh. just that little bit where I'm trying to reverse yep. out and I can't. Yep. And it's a pain. Yep. So there was one day he never shows his parking permit ever. I don't think I've ever seen one. <laughs> and there was one day I came home early from work and I said, you know what, I'm going to park. He wasn't there yet. I yeah. said, I'm going to steal that parking spot yes. so I can get out stress-free in the morning. I park there. I'm feeling really good about myself. I come out the next day. I got a fine. The so one oh. day I didn't show my parking oh. permit. Let's go. Yeah. You deserve better. You know what? He, 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 he's, well. he's rang the council. Yeah, yeah. that's what he's done. He's gotten home. Yeah. He's rang the council. He's yeah. enraged. He's seen what you've done, and he's gotten you. That's what it is. You need to beat him in his own game, there, Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Hey, mm. hey, Gab. If you're there, um, how do you go with a sculptures by the sea? Because when we all go down there, I'm there. <laughs> Sean's in front of your house. Is what? Oh, he's yeah, saying. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people in the area. Yes, it's really rough. It's really rough. Our street is totally packed. Hmm. That, that, that yeah. would get annoying. Yeah. Mm. That, but, but, then again, but then again, you are living really close to the, to the sea. <laughs> so, so, you know what? Just, 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 just chill out and go and let the breeze hit feel, your hair. Feel naturally superior. Give a seagull a chip. Thanks, Gabby. Uh, Chris <laughs> is in Wanneroo. Hello. Hi. How you going, guys? Hi, Good, Chris. Chris. Okay, what have you got for us? Oh, this happened many, many years ago. Yeah. Um, I grew up in Scarborough with my parents and um, they opened a local potter's house down the bottom of our street. Mm. So that's a religion, yeah? So, yeah. Yeah, so on a um, Sunday afternoon after they'd finished down there, yeah. a lot of them would come back to our next-door neighbours and over the weeks it gradually got more and more to the point where there'd be like 30 cars out the oh. front. <laughs> yeah. And what they'd do is they'd park actually on our front lawn and even to the point where they'd be in our driveway, you oh. couldn't, you couldn't move, you couldn't go anywhere. Because there's one, there's a car in the lounge car. room. <laughs> yeah. So my mum went over and, and spoke to the people and said, "Look, you know, this is getting ridiculous. We, mm. we look after our lawn. Can you mm. keep off it? Yeah. You know, like they could have walked there from where it was. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, they basically told her to get lost, that it's council property and you can't do anything about it. So the following Sunday, my dad put all these big rocks up around the verge so they couldn't park there. So we're inside, we're looking out the window and there's all these people shifting these rocks and parking on our lawn. They're shifting rocks. That's so good. And they shifted them onto the footpath and they were just parked there anyway. So by this time, my mum and dad were getting really angry. And, of course, this is back before people used to lock their cars and yeah, care yes. about anything. It was the middle of summer. Yeah. So one week, they all parked there. They'd left all their windows down and everything. So my mum went out and put the sprinkler on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and you can play this what? game. Yeah. 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 One part there again. They, were, oh. I think they thought she was the craziest old video ever. Yeah. And they went going so there again. Right <laughs> the right but water did. The ro- yeah. What, yeah. One, you know what? Once they'd moved those rocks, yeah. your mum should have just stood there with a the hose just directly yeah. into them. Right. Windows because yeah. they yeah, deserve well, that. I that think is pretty close. Oh, oh, that is very funny. We're outraged on your behalf. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah these are great. All right. They Be are respectful, everybody. This is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. T. Yes, Nathan. Getting to know. <laughs> when was the last time you flew Getting a kite? To know <laughs> I actually think I've ever flown a kite. <gasps> what? Not even as a kid. Did you make one know. out of sticks and paper? I don't think yeah. I have. Wow. You just had this realization. Oh my God. So you don't know the thrill of making something a dance in the sky while holding onto fishing lines. And running fast <laughs> and sailing up. Oh my God. Uh, Oh my god! If there's any if there's any kite clubs yes. in town mm. that would like to give T her first kite experience, <laughs> we'd be all about that. Would mm. you be about that? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. okay. Well. Any kite people? Official Jennifer kite. kite. <laughs> 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 right, coming up Kitely next. Jenna. <laughs> we are going to do uh, contact us. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Um, I'm not. Sean and Harding Co.'s state-of-the-art showroom is home to the biggest display of kitchen and laundry appliances in Perth. Uh, for the dish that really gets us drooling mm-hmm. today, we've got $500 cash, but an invitation to our Harding Co. brunch next Friday where someone will win 5000 bucks worth of Neff uh, kitchen appliances. Awesome prize. Well, Johan's given us a call because um, he needs to impress us with mm. his dish that everybody likes, apparently. Yo, Yo Johan. Johan. 
Hello. Oh, hi, how are we? Good, Good Johan. Okay. So, um, yesterday, selected was a chicken curry. Mm. Okay. With a bit of yep. lemongrass yeah. in it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it sounded a bit yeah. fancy. Yeah. So, this dish that you're about to tell us, people request it from you. All the time. So, whenever I go to a barbecue, always got to bring the meat. Uh, people say, don't worry about bringing meat, just bring the dish. Okay. okay. This All is right. brilliant. So Johan, what is it? It's actually a cheap version for me to bring than the meat. Okay. Oh, so, great. So the dish is a glazed cherry. So it's the cherries you normally put in cakes. <laughs> yes. Uh, they It's wrapped in bacon. Yes. And you fry it in a pan. So when you put it in your mouth, you automatically taste the bacon. Yeah. And as soon as you bite into it, you just get this sugary rush. And then bacon and the cherry just goes well together. So what you're saying is the dish is literally two ingredients. Cherry, uh, yeah. a cherry in wrapped in bacon. Yeah. <laughs> now, can I just say something? Is this controversial? What would happen if you wrapped some bacon around a cherry ripe then and did the same thing? Mm. With the chocolate. Mm. Would it work? Mm. I don't. I think well, the, the coconut would, would just be a bit go, pudding. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. really know the, the yeah. DNA of a I cherry think this, ripe. This has got the vibe of your maple bacon, right? So the yeah, sweetness yeah. I don't with like the saltiness cherries. of the... Cherries are delicious. But that's amazing that you live in a world where your friends request bacon-wrapped cherries. Isn't that crazy? Because I don't come from that world. No, I no, don't and either. And also that that's your, the, what, your signature dish requires two ingredients. That's pretty <laughs> amazing. That? Johan, that is fantastic. That's, that's pretty amazing. But how did right. you come across it, though, Johan, personally? Yeah, did you make it? Did you create well, it? I'm, I'm, I'm originally from South Africa, and mm. that's what we used to do on the barbecue oh. as well as an entree. So when, when you're cooking yeah. the meat, yeah. As the kids were getting hungry and stuff, that's yep. something that you can give them. It's like, oh, here's a quick mm. bite to eat while the meat's still cooking. Yeah, and they're having some fruit as well. We're looking at photos of them right now from the World Wide Web, yes. and it looks like um, uh, the platter that exists after a mass circumcision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would that be fair, Johan? That's okay. Right. All right, yes. you hang there, Johan. Uh, you're a contender. We move on to Rebecca from Wellard. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Hello, guys. How you doing? Great, Hi, Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay, what is your signature dish in us? So it's called Paul Newman's Ranch Dressing um, <laughs> or Ranch Salad. Yes. Um, what we've got is we've got a bit of lettuce, we've got grated carrot, <laughs> and then we've got some chicken strips, potato gems and diced bacon oh, topped oh. with the famous Paul Newman's Ranch Dressing. So, so you're not even making your cured. dressing, you're just opening that jar? Which we are Correct. open to because mm. we are open to this because this is a recipe that everyone can get behind. Mm. Did you say that this is perfect for a hangover? Definitely. Yeah, it's a yes. salad with bacon this and potato is, so, gems. So this is this is this is a classic. Um, this is a classic fatty salad, isn't it? Um, it is. yeah, yeah, it's one of the ones where we all yeah. like. You know, look, I'm eating a salad. Oh, it's got no, but look in what's it. in it. <laughs> don't count the calories. calories yeah. but the potato gems really tip it okay, over. Okay, so you are renowned for this dish. Definitely passed down from my mum. Um, <laughs> used to cook it when we were teenagers. So I definitely down. passed it on to my kids and they love it. Sorry, your recipe passed is passed down, down that includes potato gems. And a jar of Paul Newman dressing. <laughs> a bit of diced bacon and chicken strips. Oh, yeah. oh, no, and no. chicken strips. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. think about it. It's a protein hit. Think about it. It's got all the things in there. It's mm. got the sweetness, it's got the crunchiness, it's got the saltiness. You know, I think I'd want some, like, feta cheese or something in there just to oh. hit another food group. Oh, would you even dare? Would you even dare to put feta in it back? You could top it with cheese. I don't know about feta. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about feta. I don't like it. I like it. I like it. She knows what the dish needs. It's been passed down generations, this potato gem based recipe. <laughs> Thanks, Beck. You hang there, Marie. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi, Marie. Marie. Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. Now, you sound like you would have a signature dish that everybody begs for. What is it? Oh, it's um, chicken and cheese sausage rolls. Oh, hello. We're sitting up a little straighter now. Oh, hello. We do, we do love a sausage roll. Give I us know. a rundown. <laughs> yeah. So, um, with the, with the, I make everything from scratch. So, I get chicken breast and mince it up. And then I put lots of herbs and spices in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, garlic and a bit of, um, and I put mozzarella cheese. Um, in the mince. In the mince. Yeah. In the mince, yeah. yeah. And yeah. also I put um, mus- uh, mustard because that brings out the cheese flavour. Oh. Lovely. And then I do a dipping sauce for it as well, a white wine and mushroom dipping sauce. Oh, white wine and mushroom? White wine so and I mushroom love how lost you, me on mushroom. Um, Marie had a little dig at Rebecca because she, did you hear how she said I do everything from scratch? Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, only, I only because Paul Newman doesn't make the sauce he use. 
Even though you just opened up a jar of nooms. So the why, yeah. why do mushroom sauces a bit? That's it's inter- out, that's, out there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. But mincing mm. up the chicken breast to start I, with, knowing that. That's yes. good. Rather that's than just good. buying chicken mince. Can I yeah. tell you, 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 know, you, you, you all know how much I love a sausage roll. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm not really that big a fan of a chicken sausage I mean, roll because yeah. I don't, never really thought the, the chickens cheese, need to be brought into this. The cheese is a nice addition, though. We should give it some moisture. I do like the cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Mushroom, though, that scares me. The chicken's yeah. having a tough time. The as chicken's it is. having a tough enough time. They don't need to be made into sausage rolls, too. <laughs> Bird flu, all the rest of it. <laughs> all right, so we've got the bacon wrapped cherries. We've got the Paul Newman ranch salad, including oh. potato jams. And we've got the Chicken and cheese sausage rolls. I'm going. Okay, I'm going to vote. Let's all let's all vote out loud because I want to. I want to say what I want to choose. I personally want to choose Rebecca's Budjo salad. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I feel like everyone at home has got that stuff, and you could make it. Sebas, you're in the room at the moment. Sebas, so you get so a vote. What's your you get take a vote. on that? You get a vote. Cherry bacon. Head the cherry down. bacon circumcision. Oh, I mean, yeah, bacon. Bacon. Yeah. That's it. I mean, it's a, it's a simple. Okay. Well, it'll be I'm, cheap to produce. I'm siding with Nathan. Are oh, you? the budjo salad. Mm. The See, budjo I didn't like, I quite like the sausage roll. Yeah, no, I, I'm not mm. frightened. I'm not angry okay, about the sausage roll. Sausage roll. Mm. Harry. You need an entree. I think the bacon cherry. Mm. Okay, bacon Sam. Cherry. So what have we got? We've got two for the bacon, bacon cherry. We've got two for the budjo salad. We've got one for the sausage roll. Sam, where are you at? Um, I think I want the salad. All right. The budjo salad! <laughs> Rebecca. And we're not putting feta in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what put you off, didn't it? Hey, Rebecca, we're going to be yeah. um, possibly tasting this dish mm. next if, Friday. If it makes the top three. You have won $500 cash I don't think and an will. exclusive invitation to our Heart & Co brunch where if yours is the chosen dish, Beck, you score $5,000 worth of Neff Kitchen appliances, OK? <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's great. We'll see Thank you there. You well, I like choosing Beck because what you do is showcase it's the real. fact that you don't have to be a bloody Donna Hay. You no. know what I mean? If you do something with things that already exist, you've put them together, made it, made a creative thing, and it's delicious. Mm. All we're after is all we're after is delicious. And of taste. course, this is a recipe that's been handed down for through generations. the generations. <laughs> for generations, since potato gems were invented, and since Paul Newman made a <laughs> dressing. <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Nova's Pay Your Bills. Nova! All right, here we go. Ooh, this is exciting. Nova's Pay Your Bills is in full swing. If you've got an electricity bill to pay, say, we got you sorted. Got a daycare bill that needs covering. We got that sorted too. Fantastic, now. Sean, you got some bills, hey? I got some bills, absolutely. Yeah. Heaps of them. All you need to do is register your bill on the Nova Player app, and we could be calling your name out, Nathan, if that's easy. We're going to do it right now. Yes time to pay someone's <gasps> bill. So, oh. this is a lady named Silvana Alotta from Bassendine. And what does she need money for, Sean? I mean, Nathan? <laughs> well, she's... For Sean? She, okay. she, she wanted a fridge. She wants a fridge. She wants new a fridge. fridge. So we're paying um, part of her payment off for her fridge. She's just moved into a new home, <laughs> needs a new fridge. Silvana Alotta from Basso. Uh, you've got 20 minutes to call us back on 13 24 go, 10. So it's 826 right now. And it's a pretty well, unique say name. There wouldn't be a lot of Silvana Alotta's out there, I don't think. A lot of Silvana mm. Alotta's. A lot of There's Silvana Alotta's. A lot of Silvana's. <laughs> Um, okay, 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Silvana Arlotta from Abasso. You need to call us back and then we'll pay for your new fridge. Perfect. All right, um, we put the call out for Silvana Arlotta from Bassendine because she needs a new fridge and she wants us to pay for it. And what do you know? She called us straight away. Silvana, hello. Hello, Nat. I absolutely love you guys. You crack me up every morning. Silvana. Silvana. You don't have now, to suck up to us. And now we've gifted no, you a crisper. I've been missing you forever, I promise. <laughs> hey, so talk to us about the fridge that you've got your eye on. Um, It's nothing really that expensive because I'm just on my own. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it's just like... Um, a Westinghouse in, in at the Good Guy. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's a single girl's because fridge. I had to put, yeah, because my fridge is starting to show signs of dying. Exactly. <laughs> it's coughing every time I you open the moved, door. Yeah, I've just moved into a new home and I like, yeah, it's been just insane. Is it a single uh, door or double door, Silvana? No, just a single one. Single, 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 yeah. single, yeah. single, yeah. single girls have single yeah, door right. fridges. Do you? I have, a single, I have a single fridge. Do you? Do you? Oh, I've got a double. Like, uh, I'm a yeah, but the single door fridge, I, I, it was more room than the French door fridges were going to give me for the, the model that I chose. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I do think double door fridges are for double people. Can I ask Silvana, <laughs> where's, the, where's the freezer section at the 
top or the bottom? I've got a top top one. No then. way. No, I'm no, a no. bottom freezer person mm. because... We've heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> a bottom feeder. <laughs> uh, I, 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 bottom, bottom freezer person because you use your fridge more than yeah. you do your freezer. So why is the Baby thing Silvana that's easiest really to reach ice cream. up the top? You know what I mean? Correct, Matt. Yes, I, do I really love know. ice cream. And also, you guys are a lot a lot younger than me, and I'm just looking at the fact that bending down all the time. Mm. If you have a look at my date of birth, yeah, you guys are, are still babies. <laughs> 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 okay? You got it. We need to make a range of fridges for people in your age group where everything's just in the middle. <laughs> 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 I love you guys. Uh, I Silvana, love you. Uh, we're paying your bill. Oh, you get in the new fridge, Silvana. Well done, baby. Oh, thank you so much, Nathan, Nat and Sean. I really do think you're the best breakfast show ever. Oh, oh you're lovely, sweet. Silvana. Uh, Call us any time. You've got a problem, we'll pay it. You're oh. a joy. It's called joy. gratitude, man. It's called gratitude. Yeah, oh, yeah but yeah. they don't hear it these that often. Days. No, that's a great days. point. See, it's that easy, everybody. I Head to the Nova Play and Register, just like Silvana did. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. So can I say that I've never really gotten uh, people that are on TikTok all day and they're just scrolling through and, you know, they're constantly on it. We've got the people around work here that do it all the time. They're just constantly on it. Oh, you go down looking, a rabbit hole. And, looking, and, of course, it, it, it offers yes. stuff up to you that yes. it knows so you yeah. like. My so. wife's on it all the time. Yeah. 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 She's mad yeah. TikTok. I'm not that person. I've never been that person on Instagram as well. Mm. None of that. I just don't scroll. That all changed. That all changed recently. Recently, I hit something more than I think a 17-year-old would hit TikTok, and I'm looking Holy at it fans? all the time, and I'm thinking about it all the time. And Red is, tube. Got him. <laughs> Got him again. It's a little company that people might know. Download the Timo app and shop like a billionaire. I have downloaded like this. I have downloaded the, the Timo app. Where the billionaires go? <laughs> I thought this was only for teenage girls. Oh, Timo. No, Sean. it's not. It's for mums as well. Mums oh, love goodness. a bit of Timo action. Timo, it's good. And I know that oh. there are sustainability issues and stuff like that, but I'm putting all that to the side because it's about stuff I want. So anyway, I've been adding things to my cart over and over the over the time. Here, here's a question. Mm. So you get on Timo mm. and you type in anything that you might be interested in. You want, or are you scrolling just My to find trick something? now is yeah. that if I'm looking at buying something that, you know, something of a designer brand or whatever normally here, then I will either try and Google it and then add Timo to it or yeah. I'll take a screenshot of it and then I'll Google image search it, search it, put one of the keywords as Timo and that exact duplicate where actually some people are saying, because a lot of the stuff is made in China mm. and stuff like that, these companies... It's just excess the stock. It's stuff, excess yeah. stock that basically people are just like selling mm. it on the side. So I'll Google it and then it'll show me the exact, exact product and, on Timo. And for a better deal. Sean. Well, obviously. So cheap. So look, there was <laughs> no, this... No, but- there was That's this one. This sounds so <laughs> stupid, right? So, but there was a um, a shower squeegee, right? That I, I, I use a squeegee in my shower every time after I have a shower. I, I clean the, the glass, right? <laughs> yeah, because then yeah, if you do it every day, then you don't have to. Oh, Nathan, That's worry intense. about doing That's it. Intense. Is that intense? Yeah. Don't people? Sc- no, some no. people do, but I'm you know, I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm just a single boy. Got no, got no one to talk to, yeah. Sean. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate, I'm squeegeeing the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, and I, I, wanted, I wanted everything to look really, really nice, right? So I went. Uh, there's a website called Design Stuff, yeah, and there's all of this design stuff. And mm. I found this black, really cool silicon squeegee, and I think it was like seventy nine dollars. Mm. And I was like, I can't mm. spend seventy nine dollars on the squeegee. Put it into, <laughs> Put it into Timu. I got it for six dollars. <laughs> Exactly the Get same. Out of and town. they arrived. Those two squeezies were amazing. But I wanted to basically do a little a smattering of things because I didn't trust whether it was going to be okay. Yeah, or not. yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted to uh, get one thing of substance that I thought, okay, this is a bit more expensive, more than I'd be comfortable um, uh, spending on Timu. It was $65. Oh, hello. What do you get for that? A boat? <laughs> I needed, I needed a drying rack. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I Doesn't started everyone? going down oh, so a... You need, uh, like dishes or dishes clothes? Clothes, clothes, yes. clothes. Clothes, okay. with mine yep, broke. Yep, yep. Yeah, so I needed a drying rack. So I thought, okay, anyway, and I found this drying rack. It's called the Octopus Drying Rack. It's an Italian design from a... Uh, what's the company called? The company's called... Oh, God. Octopussy? Um, no, it should be. Um, Foppa Pendritti or something like that. Anyway, they Which are around $500. For okay. a drying rack? I got this for $65. I brought it in. Here we go. So this is my drying rack. 
So this is and it is bloody awesome. So it folds down to nothing. <laughs> it right? does actually. No, okay, so got it's like it. a it's big like a cylindrical tube. Yeah, yeah it's like probably what, what's the size of that? Uh, it's about 60, 70 centimetres. Yeah, yep, and, and in diameter, that's what? Oh, uh, 15, 15, 15 centimetres. Yep. Yep. Sean, it's eight. Yep. So basically, Sean, you just step on this. <laughs> you open it up. Your poles come out. Yeah, your poles do come out, Nate. These are how you hang your clothes. Oh, so the arms come out. So the arms all come out. So it all folds into the tube and then you you pull it out. So for me, who I haven't got, I haven't got a lot of space mm. in my in my apartment. This is perfect. And then okay, it, you're not going to hang your sheets on it. No. But <laughs> there you go. Your jocks and socks. I, so I've got that for sixty five dollars, mm. right? And that is um five hundred dollars at the shops, mm. and you're it's exactly kidding. the same. So how much lead's in it? <laughs> oh, look. I mean, I'm sure that it's going to kill me. It's not the it's not the lead; it's the asbestos that's made out of that that could be an issue. I like it. How cool is that? Mm. Is it just so a drying now it rack? Looks like if you spin it around, it'll take off. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks sort of like a, a windmill. Yeah, it's sort does. of thing. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or a helicopter. So yeah. you haven't been disappointed. Are, are other Sean, people disappointed. Is this everybody... is my thing. So now yeah. this is the worst thing that could have happened. It's mm. the worst thing. Everything I bought was amazing. All of it. Mm. And I bought about 10, 15 items. Yeah, yeah. You mm. now, you go, you now go. it's the green light. Now it is go time. Now, now the cart, the cart is going to come into fruition. I'm going to mm. be doing some punishment on this thing, and I'm frightened because I feel like. Back to that day when Natalie. you were getting all this stuff delivered. Back in the day, we got stuff delivered to work. We're not allowed to do it anymore. Yes. But Nathan would get parcels on a, oh, on the time. daily. Like, here's a nine pack of Screaming, Screaming Monkey, Monkey Slingshots. slingshots. Um, that we're headed back into that era, aren't yeah, we? I think so. Mm. But there's going to be like really good stuff they're going to use. I, I, <laughs> I would like to hear about people and Timu, Timu and you, right? Yeah. I'd like, like to hear about your shopping successes, things that you went, oh my God, this is, I'm not going to yeah. be able to get that. But I think I really need to hear the Fails. People that have been punched in the guts by Timo. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need to know that that can happen because at the moment... Yeah, you've already had I'm good in. experience and, and you can't And I'm just going to start just like spending mm, like up a mm, storm. Mm, mm. So in my Timu card at the moment, because yes. when I see something that I like, I Put just it in whack the it in there. Mm. There's, there's 150 items. Right, I just give us the first <laughs> two right now. The first two? Yeah. The can you see two? that in the card? Okay, okay. Oh, there is um, some Scandinavian war hawks. <laughs> Do you have some Scandinavian walls? And a vintage wooden perpetual calendar. For some reason. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm going to get it. No, no. I'm just saying I like it and I don't want to go back and look for it. Um, so, Natalie, I, I had chosen something that I thought that you would love. Here we go. And this is a uh, this is a, a duck that um, holds your keys um, with its mouth because it's magnetic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's cool. Nathan, do not buy that for me. <laughs> and I found a bookmark, which is... Um, oh, because I is, um, read. Yeah, it's, um, it's the, um, uh, the Wicked Witch of the West when she's been flattened by the house. So it's just her legs sticking out. And then that's a bookmark. And I thought that would be a fun little thing for you. Um, Nat's in Maylands. Good morning, Nat. <laughs> oh, how are you going? Oh, Hi, Nat. Nat. We're worried about Nathan. Oh, we are. Uh, yeah. Well, he's this so is excited not for the first time. My... My husband and I both love team and a parcel arrives all the time. We never know who it's for because every couple of days runs arriving and they've always been fantastic except when he thought he was getting like a crowbar type thing for work and it arrived. It was like a little two inch thing that now sits on his key ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that was the thing. Yeah. We had a discussion about this because yeah. a little while ago my wife jumped on this place and uh, I forgot wish. it now. It was, it was called Wish. wish. Yeah. And um, she got this ottoman amongst a, a, a couple of things and it was the sl- size of a small dinner plate. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know what? Sean told me so so many times, they're not the size of the crowbar, it's how you use it. <laughs> I have. Now, I the have. thing is, though, the, the, check the, the the tip, you've got yeah. to check the measurements. Yes. You've got to check the measurements. It does have, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. straight away, because you, that that story about Megan, yeah. that lays in my Sticks head all the time. Brain. Yeah, so yeah. I was expecting all this to be like for a dollhouse. They actually do have furniture and stuff for dollhouses that people misread and think they're yes. getting like an amazing table setting, yeah. and then it rocks up and it fits in the palm <laughs> of their hands. <laughs> it's a trap for young oh, players. Oh, well, now he's got a good key ring anyway. Oh, that's yeah. good. There you go. All, all right, right now. thanks, Thank Paula's in Bankshire Grove. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great, Hi, Paula. Paula. Talk to us about your Timo experience. So it wasn't me, it was my husband. Yep. He uh, jumped on the Timu bandwagon and he thought he was getting a ripper deal. He um, ordered a dinnerware set. So he got some plates and some uh, some dinner plates and side plates and some cups. <laughs> and anyway, he thought, oh, you know, I've got such a deal coming. He, ordered, he also ordered some towels as well. Yeah. So anyway, they arrived and he, he didn't even open the. He was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> Sorry, anyway, wait there. Your phone just started cutting out. What was that again? 
Oh, he didn't even open up the box. He yeah. was just like, there's no way that these are proper dinner sets. Okay. Anyway, he opened it up finally when I got home. Yeah. And uh, he um, was bitterly disappointed because they turned out to just be plasticware. <gasps> so it turned out... <laughs> so he thought it was going to be fine china from China. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't. He thought he was getting such a deal. And then the towels that he also ordered, they're probably big enough to cover your left toe. Yeah, right. So they're like <laughs> hand right. towels or so something. So this yeah. is the thing, though. I do need to hear this sort of stuff. Yeah. But, but did he not read the measurements as well? Because it's all written um, there. It's all written there. No, that's, I think that's the photos the can be trait, deceiving. I, th- yeah. I think people just look at the photos, whereas I, I've got yes. these warnings behind me. So, I, I, you know what? This is terrible. I have not been discouraged yet. No, okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Paula. Have you had a bad Timu experience? We need to give Nathan the dose of reality he needs. Here's the other thing I found for you, Natalie. Oh, here we go. So but this is, this is a plant. This is a, a crocheted plant hanger. Okay. <laughs> we have a $150 voucher to <laughs> Hillary's boat. Beach Club, by the way. <laughs> it's it's like the plant. aliens out of Sesame Street. Oh, like that's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's in your basket. Yeah, yeah. for Natalie. Oh. <laughs> I bet I can crochet. I could just make that myself. No, no, no. You don't have to. I mean, I one. wouldn't. All right. I buy one for six dollars forty-four. We need a bad experience to <laughs> calm Nathan down, please. Well, we call this guy Timu. Hello, Tim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Don't do it, Nathan. Thanks. Don't do it. Okay, so, okay, so we'll talk to us. Why not? What, what happens? So uh, it was literally only just a couple of weeks ago. I got absolutely timu <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, look. I'll admit it. Uh, I'm a bit of a bit of a plain nerd, so I like to collect my models. Yeah, so you can get you get this cool little you know metal kind of plane models and all the rest of it. And I was like, yeah, awesome. I get this really cool. Doesn't matter which type, KLM. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It does. It does. It doesn't matter which type. We're all Dutch, mate. Doesn't matter which one. So anyway, so um, so I get I get all these these models coming. I thought, oh, that's weird. That one's missing. And then inside the box down the bottom was this little kind of cardboardy, or we'll say a bit of paper, yeah. and it had like a Pikachu to kind of cut out and make yourself. And I was like, that's really strange. I didn't order that. That's, yeah, so I kind of gave it to my daughter. I was like, go, have fun. Yeah. Then I realised, I'll look a bit further, inside the box was about 20 sheets of white paper printed out with a model of this plane that wasn't there. Oh, it was a pa- it was a model for a paper plane. <laughs> I had to make it. Cut it out. <laughs> the IKEA version of a model plane. <laughs> But it wasn't like it wasn't like one of those cardboard ones where it's like serrated edges yeah. where you, see, you pull it out and, yeah. and yeah. clip it in or yeah. anything. It was literally like A4 sheets of paper that they got from Officeworks and just printed. It whacked it. So you had, to, cut, you had to get the scissors and cut around as well. Yeah. How much yeah. was it? How much was it? In the, oh, it was about nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. <laughs> you spent on that. <laughs> I've done that yourself. Wait, I'll be honest. What was the nineteen? Was the nineteen dollars supposed to buy you an actual model of a plane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my wife reacted the same way. <laughs> <laughs> How many models of planes do you have, Tim? Uh, not many. It's a, it's, it's a new thing. Uh, okay. It it's... all started when I bought the Concorde Lego, and then it just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> rolled on from there. Sorry. It's been How, a slippery sorry, slope there. Let's go back to this. How many? How much Lego do you have, Tim? Oh, that's that's another story altogether. <laughs> that's um, a lot. <laughs> it's not me. My, my wife is... She, she just built the almost two meter high Eiffel Tower. So that was oh, oh my god! god. So, so, your wife, so you're now into model planes, and your wife's into Lego. Hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. my you're my kind of couple. Hey, Tim, the kids good... are managing the stock portfolio. So it's fine. <laughs> Tim, is she good enough to be on Lego Masters? You, I mean, that'd obviously be a show that you'd be up for. Oh, she she always talks about it. She's pretty good. She she can. The, the problem is with Lego now. It's it's not really a challenge. Like she'll just sit there and bang one out in a night. <laughs> And she's like, oh, that was okay. <laughs> you know, she just... Wow, wow. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> Good time in the at your house, isn't that, eh? I know. <laughs> Hang it on your thanks, Tim. Oh, yeah. Kirsten, hello. Hello. Hi, okay. Kirsten. Right, Kirsten. Um, Nathan needs to hear some cautionary tales about Timo. What I, have you got for him? The paper plane didn't do it. I'm still mm. in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my partner bought, um, well, he thought he was buying... Uh, Nike and Hugo Boss, uh, like, tracksuit sets, like yes. jumpers and pants. Yeah. So, but, you know, just didn't look closely enough at the symbols. So the Nike one's got the tick and the I-K-E, got yep. no N. <laughs> so and then the Hugo I-K. Boss one. Yeah, it's, so it's I-K, yeah. yes. And then the Hugo Boss one is spelled B-Q-double-S. <laughs> 
<laughs> no trademark on that. He's like, they sent me the wrong things. And I'm like, hey, no. maybe go back and have a look at the yeah. actual pictures. Yeah, yeah, no, they sent me the wrong things. No, you, it was $4. They sent you the right thing. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. Hey, Kirsten, is the quality of the stuff good? Or is it just... Uh, it's smaller than he thought, but yeah, it's nice and thick and warm. Yeah, the fabric's good. Yeah, yeah. It's put uh, together, uh, right? Yeah. Dad, Dad was the yeah. first person in my family to jump on Timo, which is mm. amazing because Dad doesn't trust internet shopping. Mm. And um, Dad got some stuff sent over, but he ended up buying some tops for him and Mum. And mm. the material is something that it's not far from Christmas wrapping. Really? Uh, just, yeah. just, it, 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 highly it's synthetic. Highly and, synthetic yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I personally wouldn't buy clothing from there. Yes. So that has not persuaded me either. So this whole segment didn't do its job. Well, that's because I think you've decided you no, want to no, no. be pro-team. No, the, the, I'm, not gonna be buy, I'm not going to be buying, like, you know, knockoff Gucci and you stuff like that. You say that now. No, I don't do Slippery that sort of slope. stuff. You know me. I'm simple. Uniqlo. <laughs> simple boy. <laughs> yeah, have you bought we'll any see. Uniqlo? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't checked for Uniqlo, though. I'll chuck it in today. $150 voucher to Hillary's Beach Club's going to go to Tim because once we got going with the paper planes yeah. and the Lego, it's all happening there in There are a lot house. of questions to be asked there. Um, good on you, Tim. That's all yours. We're out of here. It's mm. nine past nine. Yeah, no one works we'll have up. Matthew Pavlich on the show tomorrow. Yep. Big he's Maverick. Off, he's off to the Olympics soon. He's had a good yeah. run, the yeah, path. Nice. And if you today were disgusted the fact that we chose some budget salad to be in part of the I Love Heart um, um, I heart food yes. um, competition that we're having. Yep. Then don't worry, you're gonna have another chance for you to put forward your signature dish tomorrow. So make and sure you're ready. Ultimately, someone's gonna win five thousand yep. dollars worth of Neff appliances, which is awesome. Hello, Ross. Hey, yep. Rossi. Hello. Tomato soup with shell noodles. That was my father's go-to whenever Mum was out. So that was his signature. So dish. was that it? Was that it? Was that, so a, was that a just a can with a can of tomato soup boiled, yep. Yep. and then yep. just yep. chuck in those shell noodles. Boom. Cooks. Yeah, that's his bolognese. Ross, what about you? Because you used to order uh, Rossi. He saw all of these eggs from Dome when it was in yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. and he would get them extra, extra. Uh, they were poached, but hard poached. And they smell. And you they make me. Yeah, so I had to yeah. sit in the car park at seven a.m. and eat them because well, you guys. They, they were revolting. Well, wouldn't let me this year. So, what's your signature dish? Because you like rotten eggs. So uh, what do you like? <laughs> um, I do really good peanut butter sandwiches for the kids. Oh. No oh. crust. No Ooh. crust. Well. That's the secret. Yeah, Ross, because you you don't you don't you eat for the fact that your body has to survive. You it, know, yeah, yeah. there's people that live to eat and yeah. eat to live. So no. I l- eat to live. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.